Hey everyone, Adam here. So uh, about a week and a half ago, I got this awesome gift in the mail. Now, <clears throat> this was from a very good friend of mine, and uh, I had I, uh, I I didn't really know this was coming. He asked for my address, but um, so I knew something was coming. But then uh, I was quite shocked when uh, it came the next day. Anyway, this is what it is. Uh, and I just want to go through and talk about how this really defines simple living and uh, how this is, was just an awesome thing to have happen. So a <clears throat> little background on my, on my friend. Um, he's basically structured his life to live uh, as, uh, as efficiently as possible. And what I mean by that is that he has set things up so that financially he he gets by he's i think comfortable um but uh tries to work part-time or uh, time to him is super super important one of the most important things um that he has so uh, with that uh, he's able to do a lot of neat things one of the things that he is big into doing is developing games whether it be board games or computer games uh, and I know he was taking a board making class or, or was affiliated somehow with some kind of board making program. So, uh, when I saw this box, I got really excited. I thought maybe this was a prototype of his first board game or something to that effect. So, uh, it's a pretty big box and, uh, I was all excited to open it up and see what was actually in it. So, um, <clears throat> as we open it up, Sorry, I've got a cat in the way now. So when I opened it up, I immediately saw this other smaller box in N7. I immediately knew what that was. That is, uh, for people that don't know, uh, from one of my all-time favorite games called Mass Effect. And I was huge into Mass Effect. In fact, that was the reason uh, back in 2008, 7, I don't know, whenever the game came out, that was the sole reason I actually bought an Xbox 360 was for this game Mass Effect. So I was like, holy cow, all right, what in the world is this? So, let's open it up one step farther. So as I take it out, I was initially surprised with the quality of the box. I was like, wow, this looks, I mean, it, it, it looks slight, uh, painted, but I was like, wow, what, this is, uh, what in the world is this? And I was really, really uh, trying to figure out what in the world my buddy said. So as I dive in more into this box, we open it up, and inside it, I found this letter and then at this point um, if you want you can uh, read it I will uh, <clears throat> pan down it but essentially as I read this I was like holy cow uh, all right this is definitely something from Mass Effect that's pretty neat and then as I looked, I saw, I immediately recognized this as a Mass Effect pistol, or at least that's what it completely reminded me of. So, as I look at this, I was like, holy cow, this thing is, is pretty neat. So basically what it is, it's a Nerf gun. And um, you can't feel it, but it feels pretty heavy. Like, it feels like a solid piece of, uh, of Nerf gun. Like, it does not feel like a cheap plastic toy in any stretch of the imagination here. And um, I just thought that, 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 I was like, wow, this is like really, it feels like high quality, like a lot of work went into this. So uh, I was completely blown away. I was not expecting that. And what was even more interesting about this project is that I remembered uh, a long time ago that my buddy said that he was into building Nerf guns and retrofitting them. And then it dawned on me, I was like, wow, did... Did my buddy actually build this or did he just find this off of and supported a Kickstarter uh, project? Because I know he's really big into also, if he can, and he likes the project, supporting different various types of Kickstarter projects. So I was really, really intrigued of what exactly, this, where exactly this came from. Did my friend actually build this or uh, was this something that... Um, uh, he just, uh, you know, supported a project kind of thing. So if you look at the gun, there's a little trigger here, and then you pull this down, and then this is where all of the ammo goes in. So uh, we can load it up. I'll just load in a couple of discs here. Okay. And then what happens is there's a little cocking mechanism. So let me cock that right now. All right. So then as you cock it, we have a a Nerf gun here, and then as you fire it, 
you can see, it goes pretty quick. Um, so it's a neat little Nerf gun. And you might be wondering how in the world this fits into minimalism or living simply, uh, and I'll explain that in a second. But before I do, the other thing I noticed about this was that it had like a little barcode up here, and that really intrigued me. I was like, oh, what in the world? All right, well, let me find out more about that, and uh, let me show you what happens when you do that. All right, so I have my phone here, and basically this brings you to YouTube. What happens is when you play it. Hey Adam, uh, by now, I'm sure you've already received this, or you wouldn't be watching this video. Uh, I just wanted to explain what this is all about, because the timing is probably a little strange. Uh, this is a project that I started. So, uh, after I clicked that, uh, it explained everything. And uh, let me just tell you, uh, I was uh, left speechless uh, the amount of detail and the cleverness that went into this entire project. So uh, with that, um, I would like to take the time to discuss how this fits into minimalism because people may be wondering, well, okay, you just acquired a, a new item that now you have to hold on to um, and all the wasted resources that went into this. However, uh, I want to counter argue that and explain exactly why this is um, very much in line with simple living. And I also want to talk about what I plan on doing with this. So um, with that, uh, let's get started with the discussion. All right, so now I want to talk about exactly how this kind of fits into minimalism. So one of the biggest things that I find super important when trying to live more simply is being able to follow your passions, whatever that may be. And for my buddy, uh, it's building things, uh, whether it would be a game or uh, Nerf guns or whatever. Um, I think he gets a lot of satisfaction about just building things. And what is neat about this project to me is that um, I don't know how many hours went into building this, um, but if you watch his video, it's very, very detailed. He added extra weight to the gun. Uh, apparently, he used to shoot two discs. He narrowed it down to only shoot one disc. He tried uh, muffling the sound, like just tremendous amount of detail. Even the paint job is very well done, in my opinion. Um, I mean, it feels very solid. So. It must have taken a tremendous amount of time, maybe some trial and error, in order to come up with this final product. And that's what's so neat about living simply. When you live simply, you are able to focus in on the things that you are passionate about. Now, if he worked a typical job, you know, 40, 60 hours a week, this project may never have gotten off the ground because he would have been spending all of his time trying to earn an income or uh, uh, live a standard life. And to me, that's what's so neat about this project is that this is everything that you can get out of living more simply. Um, it doesn't mean you have to build Nerf guns. It doesn't mean you have to build anything. It just means that you can follow your passion. And for my buddy, he was able to follow his passion and build this. And so to me, um, that's what this really symbolizes. Um, the other thing too is uh, another great thing with with living simply is that you never know where things are going to lead, right? Like um, I've done uh, uh, free website stuff. I've done you know lots of stuff that I never knew would lead me down other paths. Like uh, like uh, even donating uh, your time doing uh, certain things, you never know what you're going to get out of it and what other paths may open. So for example, my buddy spent all this time with, with, with building this Nerf gun. Like honestly, I could see like eventually all the experience that he gained, this being useful if he ever wanted to make uh, custom Nerf guns and start a, uh, a, a Kickstarter uh, program. I mean, he has all this knowledge built up from this project and you know, people may pay uh, uh, decent money to, to have some of their favorite Nerf guns replicated um, and, and not feel like a cheap Nerf gun. I mean, this feels like a solid Nerf gun. So, um, 
you know, one of the byproducts is you never know what's going to open up. And, you know, if something like that did open up for my buddy, provided he still had that passion, I mean, it could be a great fit. Then he could make money or an income doing something that he absolutely loved. So uh, that is where this definitely fits into uh, minimalism. Now, as far as gifts go, um, I tend to gravitate more towards gifts, you know, when people ask me, what would you like for Christmas? Honestly, some of the best gifts that uh, I receive is when people are willing to spend time with me. Like, uh, okay, you got me a brand new shirt. All right, that's nice. I understand the gesture. Honestly, take that money, uh, put it towards a gift certificate to a restaurant, and take me out to dinner so I can spend time with you. Like, I would find a lot more value in that uh, than a shirt because that means I get to spend time with that individual. We get to have dinner. You know, it's a nice thing to do and uh, it's low impact. Like I don't necessarily need lots of things. Other gifts that I really like, uh, and this kind of falls into that category, are gifts where it allows me to, um, material gifts that allow me to spend, the, the idea behind it is to spend time uh, with that individual. Growing up, um, I can remember some of the best gifts I got uh, from my parents, uh, especially my dad, were stuff that were geared towards spending time with him. Um, like he got me a pair of uh, hockey ice skates. Uh, and then he had my mom buy him a pair of hockey ice skates for Christmas. And the idea is that we would go to our pond, shovel it off, and we would go ice skating together and play hockey. Uh, to me, yeah, it was a materialistic uh, 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 gift, but to me, uh, my fondest memories are playing ice hockey and that, you know, that gift was bought with the intention of spending time with me. Um, you know, uh, he also bought me, uh, when I was probably 10, like a mini, uh, a pool table set. Uh, and again, it wasn't like, oh, Adam, here you go, go play pool by yourself. No, it's, hey, Adam, I'm going to play pool with you. Um, and so any gift that, uh, allows the individual to spend time with that person, um, I think are very, very nice materialistic gifts as opposed to, uh, you know, he, here's a shirt, here's a book, here's, you know, whatever. Um, if the end goal is to spend time with that individual, um, you know, like maybe for my son, maybe I would get two swords, right? One for me, one for him, and, you know, we could battle it out and we get to spend time. Um, those are things, the materialistic things I think are worth it because it allows you to spend time uh, with another individual. So uh, having said that, um, one of the neat things about this gift is uh, I could see, so, and it also falls into what I plan on doing with it because in the, in the video my buddy said, you know, I don't care what you do with this, um, you know, this is a gift kind of thing. And honestly, uh, uh, I've decided I definitely want to keep it. Um, and one of the things I really want to do is use it to spend time with my son. So uh, growing up, I remember my dad uh, bought us Nerf guns and we would either battle it out or, because uh, he didn't want anyone to get poked in the eye with a, with a Nerf bullet, um, he would set up like a target range around the house. So it was just like, I don't know, like empty soda cans or something that he would place uh, various spots. And then, and then uh, uh, it was like all done on a point system. Um, and whoever had the most points at the end of your 10 shots uh, won that game. So um, that's probably what I will uh, use this for, uh, to spend time with my son. Um, eventually, you know, I'll set up once he's older, or he might be able to do it now, although I think I'm going to beat him, uh, to set up a, a, a range and then uh, have him, uh, you know, shoot at targets and stuff like that. So that way I can spend time with him and kind of make it into a, a, a friendly competition, one that hopefully I win at. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's the plan, uh, with the new toy. Um, I think it's, uh, an awesome, uh, way to, uh, to build something. And quite honestly, um, you know, uh, as far as gifts go too, uh, if, if someone puts in a, like, you know, like a hundred hours into a gift, like, I don't care, like, even if it's something I'm not interested in, um, uh, you know, like a painting or something like that. Um, to me, just that thought alone uh, is 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 a lot uh, a lot more meaningful than someone just spending five minutes to buy a shirt because they feel obligated to get a gift. Um, I, you know, at this point in my life, I don't want anyone to feel obligated to get me a gift. And and certainly, you know, when people get me gifts. Um, 
you know, for, for Christmas time or whatever, uh, I may ask, I may gravitate towards gifts that are usable. Like if a person feels obligated to give me a gift, I gravitate towards things that are consumable, such as coffee or chocolate or, you know, whatever. Um, but uh, in all honesty, when I do tell people, if they think I'm crazy, I'm like, look, I do not want anything. I have everything that I want. If you do feel the need to get me something, um, take me out to a restaurant, you know, just so we can chat or, uh, you know, whatever. Um, and then, uh, and then if you really, really still feel obligated to get me something, because you know that's what society expects, uh, make it consumable. Um, uh, you know, and I'll give I'll give examples of consumable stuff. So, um, but uh, something like this um, to me uh, kind of trumps them all because it's the amount of passion uh, and the amount of. Uh, expertise that went into something like this. So anyway, uh, uh, thanks uh, to my buddy. Uh, this video ended up being a lot longer than I anticipated, but uh, I just wanted to explain how this this kind of fits into uh, to simple living, even though on the surface it may not look like it does. So uh, anyway, uh, thanks John, and uh, my son and I will get lots of use out of this.